watching this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to configure Azure AD together with our user sync functionality in order to synchronize users into your Atlassian application. Let's get started with user sync. We'll first configure Azure AD for user sync, basically creating an app that gives us an API endpoint into um, Azure AD. And then we'll configure the um, Jira side in this tutorial for user sync to be able to synchronize users, we'll do sync and afterwards we'll verify our setup. So let's get started with that. I'm logged into Azure AD um, as an admin and now we need to go to um, Azure Active Directory and what we now need to create is an app registration. So a new registration, need to give it a name It's for accounts in this directory, so I'll go to register. And this application is going to give us an endpoint into the Craft API from Azure so that we can pull user information out of it. Next step, we need to give um, some API permissions. I need to add a permission. It's gonna be Microsoft Craft, application permissions, and it's directory read all, so that we can read all the users out of the Azure Active Directory to synchronize them into Jira. Let's add that permission. And afterwards, I need to grant admin consent so that I'm as an admin are happy for the application to use this. Yes. Next step is I need to create a token um, or secret um, that I can use from within Jira to um, actually access this API. So certificates and secrets. New client secret. And I'll let it never expire in this case. So I add. And now I can see the value of the secret here. So I need to copy that because it's the only time I'm gonna see this it safe and that's pretty much what I have to do on um, Azure AD. So let's swap over to Jira. Let me go to um, user management. Our app is already installed which means you'll see on the left side SAML single sign on and user sync as two menu entries. So we're gonna set up user sync. Let me go here and you see there's nothing set up yet. UserSync has the concept of connectors, and every connector is basically an API connection to a remote system. So you can have multiple of those. Um, for this tutorial, we want to create an Azure connector. So let's see, let's choose type Azure ID. And now we need to put in a little bit of information. I've still got my application secret here, um, a paste buffer, so I paste that in here. And there's two pieces of more information we need from Azure, which is the application ID and the directory intended ID. So let me swap back to um, Azure to get that. So I'm gonna go here to overview. And here I see my application ID, which I can copy. And below that is the directory ID, which I can also copy and go back to Jira. Right. I could say save now and be done with it and the connector would be successfully set up in its default settings and the default settings would be that I synchronize all users from Azure AD and all the groups those users belong to into my Jira application and that Azure AD is the master of um, uh, those groups. So um, we basically on every sync, we make sure the user is in the same groups locally in Jira than it is on Azure AD, removing from some extra groups um, etc. Um, but let me talk you through a couple of um, settings um, uh, from the advanced settings which I think um, should really be um, something you are aware of. So I'll go to show advanced settings and you see there's actually a lot that you could configure. Um, let me just point out um, um, uh, two essentially. One is the uh, mapping username um, here uh, basically the mapping what we use in Jira as the username 
um, and which attribute in the API we map that to. Uh, by default, that's user principal name, which is the login to uh, Azure AD. If you, for whatever reason, for example, um, you used to have um, Active Directory, have Active Directory synced to Azure AD, and your Jira used to be connected via LDAP um, to, um, to your Active Directory, so that your existing users in Jira um, are using your account name in Active Directory, um, then you may want to change that connector attribute um, to on-premise account name. So just drop down, select on-premise account name, and then um, you have the same username that you used to have in uh, Active Directory here. If you want to, um, I'll leave that on user principal name for this tutorial. We also have some migration tutorials. If you come from the world where you had um, the SAM account name and want to move to a uh, user principal name, our uh, users can do that for you. Um, so check out the documentation um, on the migration tutorials. The next thing that I uh, think is worth pointing out is the um, settings group mandatory to sync a user. So um, if I add a group here, for example, Jira users, that means our plugin is only going to synchronize the users um, that are in the group Jira users in Azure. So you need to specify a Azure group here. Um, and then, so if you don't want your 50,000 users in Azure to be synchronized in Jira, but only a subset of that, which is in a particular group, then um, specify that here as a, a required group. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna leave it on, uh, I think it's actually Jira software users. And then last but not least, um, not in the advanced settings anymore in general, um, once you go to a production deployment, um, you want to have a scheduled synchronization, so that happening on a certain schedule. Um, here you can specify a cron expression. Um, the default is once an hour. That's usually a good um, uh, trade-off that works for most people. But if you have an extremely large Azure instance, let's say 40, 50, 100,000 users, um, um, then you can't sync that often because the sync is going to take some time. If you have a tiny instance, then you might even want to sync a little bit more often. But we find uh, one hour is a good, um, uh, is, is suitable for most of the customers. So um, let's click save. And our connector is um, created. So now we can actually test it and say sync. So now you see the um, sync status. You could close that now so you don't have to watch it. Um, but you see the sync status, you see it's a success. We have added uh, 12 users to the instance. Um, and if you wanted to, there's a download button for all the, um, uh, which gives you details about all the synchronized users. That's very useful if you have a support case with us. Uh, we sometimes might ask for that, um, um, that file. So let's close this. You can see, um, last sync status uh, was done with success and a few seconds ago. So let's just check that that actually happened. Let's go to user directories. You can see the um, user sync has actually created a new directory of the type internal, which is called Azure AD. So for every connector we create, we will get a internal directory that's just behaving like a normal Jira directory. And if I go to users now, you will actually see that there's a variety of users um, being part of that Azure AD directory. So that's it, you can see um, my users got um, synchronized in, all the users that are in the group Jira Software Users. They're also a member of other groups that we got from Azure AD and to get your users in from Azure AD to um, Jira is just as simple as that. Thank you.